We're going to graph the logarithm function now. And of course, big base and small base are different. The way we're going to graph, I could make a table of values. X Except in this way, I actually would want to pick, uh, instead of picking x, I'd want to pick the y value and then get the x. Uh, so you can absolutely do that. But what I'm going to do instead is go back to our graph of exponents. And what we're going to do is reflect them across the line y equals x. So we're going to take this graph, flip it over, and what do we get? Zero, 01 becomes 10. Zero. And then wherever b squared would be, right there. Our horizontal asymptote, we're going to turn into a vertical asymptote. Now while we have this here, let's just go finish up the last uh, small base and invert this. So 0, 1 becomes a 1, 0. And now B is small. B right there. 1 over B out there. And let's see, one, two, and one over b squared we'll put out there, connect all these together, and we're going to have a vertical asymptote also. How are these graphs related? There is a vertical reflection. When you do a vertical reflection or rotate 180 degrees right here along the x-axis, you'll get this graph. So our domain, not a full domain, 0 to infinity, range, full range, x-intercept, 1, 0, y-intercept, none, and behavior. Now, this on the left, I'm going to do something a little bit strange. I'm going to do a vertical asymptote on the left part of the cloud, and then on the right, like this. Our domain, same thing, zero infinity for a little base, range, negative infinity, positive infinity, full range, x-intercept, one, zero, no y-intercept, and behavior, really similar, except we have a vertical asymptote Still x equals zero, but it's going to approach on the top and then the right side like that. So there is a graph of big base and little base. I could have made a table of values and it would be much easier to pick the y and get the x out of that.